really be unaware of the impact of his words, or does he just not care about the impact of his words? Let's bring in Senator Susan Collins of Maine. Senator Collins is the most senior Republican senator to announce that she's not going to vote for Donald Trump. Uh, senator, yeah, you know, this is a pattern. Uh, that we've seen where Donald Trump says something that is incendiary, maybe intended for effect, uh, maybe unintended by lack of thought or, you know, strategy by him. And then everybody says it's the media's fault. You're taking him out of context. It's just a joke. You know, you're making too much of it. It's political correctness. Uh, how do you see this situation of what just happened on the stump? Donald Trump has made so many disparaging and reckless comments that it's not surprising that this one has been misinterpreted. It's very rare for me to come to his defense. And as you know, I do not support him to be our next president. But in this case, I truly interpreted his comments as saying there are Second Amendment advocates in every state that they have a lot of political clout and that they could work together to prevent Hillary Clinton from becoming president. I really did not see it in any way as inciting violence or as a call for violence. Right. But I think that in many ways, the fact that it's interpreted that way reflects a constant stream of inappropriate and reckless comments that Donald Trump has made. You know, I'll tell you, you know, in full in full uh, openness and candor, I was not shocked by the words when he said it. Maybe I'd become conditioned or maybe I just saw it as you did. Then, because of the job, I had to go back and look at the context and see where all this concern was coming from. You know, in context, he winds up saying if she wins, if she gets to pick her judges, there's nothing you can do. Well, maybe you Second Amendment people, maybe there is something you can do. So we, in the context, it was talking about if she's president already. And I think that's what made people concerned. Even now, that famous man in the red shirt behind him who looked at his wife and made that ooh face to her. Why do you think people pick up on it if it's not what he intends to say? Because Donald Trump has such a history of making remarks that denigrate people, that mock the vulnerable, that are so inappropriate for a presidential candidate. And thus, when he makes a remark like this, which I interpreted as not in any way inciting violence, people leap to the conclusion that he's trying to send some sort of message. So in many ways, even though I don't think it was intended in any way uh, to be inciting violence, Donald Trump has himself to blame for the fact that people leap to that conclusion. It is because he has had this constant stream of attacks on people that people assume the worst. Does it matter 